Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on my video uh, today and tuning in. Um, my name is Rabbit, my pronouns are they, them. Today I wanted to do a Draculaura makeup and cosplay transformation video. This is the look. Um, so I'm really excited, I'm a little bit nervous, but she's my favorite character from Monster High and um, I'm actually just gonna talk about it while um, I get into this, so let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do the makeup first and the cosplay later, and I'm gonna just talk about things, mostly Monster High things and cosplay stuff while I get ready. Um, but I'll put timestamps below if you wanna skip to a specific part. So I'm gonna start with like just a concealer under my eyes and on my eyelids. I already have prepped and primed my face with just um, some face cream. Oh my God, I'm putting so much concealer. I usually don't put this much concealer, but Drek is real pale, so we're just gonna go with it and hope it doesn't look totally, totally bad. Um, sorry for this. Sorry for the silence. Holy cow, what is going on out there? So, as I was saying, I Dracula is my favorite character from Monster High, and I started watching it um, kind of when quarantine started-ish. Maybe a little bit before then, but basically um, it was after I got home from university because after, you know, COVID started and whatever, I'm going in with a powder, matte, uh, matte powder just all over my face. But basically after COVID started, I had to leave university and come back home um, and take my last course online. And I wasn't working because my uh, place that I usually work, which is a cat cafe, had been closed due to the virus and all of that. I'm going to put a little bit more. This is the worst time to film a video. Sorry about those sirens. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more concealer on my lid. It's not quite as pale as I needed it. But basically I had a bunch of time off to hang out and just do my thing because online classes were really less um, intensive than my regular classes. And like I said, my place of work had been closed because of COVID. Um, so I was just hanging out at home and I was like, I've always um, avoided this show called Monster High and the stuff because to be honest, I thought the um, the logo, the this, I thought it was really ugly, so I like kind of avoided it for so long, which is so stupid. I like I don't know why I did that. That's so dumb. But basically, I, I like tend to judge a lot of things before I get to know them, which is one of my bad traits, and I'm like trying to work on it and keep a more open mind. But basically, I was like, I always like see gifs of this on Tumblr and pictures, and like, what is this? I want to like check it out. So at that time. It was still on Canadian Netflix, so I got to watch all of, or all the Canadian Netflix shows that it had, which were like a couple of movies and like the animated like TV series, and I freaking like just fell in love with the characters, but primarily Draculaura because I also really like pink and black, and I'm also vegan like her, and I love hearts and bats as like motif and. Just brushing out my brows with a spoolie, sorry. Um, I love hearts and bats as most teeth, and I just like think most of her outfits are like so cute. I love her color scheme. Using an angled brush to go in with my brows and some black eyeshadow because I don't have pomade, so I'm just gonna go in with this guy and like tap it off. Oh my god, what just happened? It's a little distracted, sorry. Okay, such is life. So I'm just lining the bottom of my brows with this angled liner, like using it on this side, and on the top. And I know lots of people say that you shouldn't do your brows black because it's like too harsh or it looks like too fake or whatever. And I think it's fine if you think that. I think it's kind of a cool look. I try not to do them like super, super matte and dark. So they still have a little bit of hair texture. 
in there that is visible. Sorry, I need to fix that. But yeah, I like dark brows. I like like super dark black brows, especially since I re-dyed my hair last night. I don't know if anyone noticed, but like, yeah, that's also why my nails are looking like I just dug through the garbage, which is fine, like a little raccoon look. I don't mind that, but I am going to paint them in this video because Dracula would totally paint her nails black. Um, and I didn't not use gloves at all. I did use some gloves. I just at the end was like, ooh, I'm gonna like do the last little bits. Didn't have any gloves left. Wow, that is not enough in my corners. But yeah, and I also really like vampires generally and always have. Like they've been one of my favorite like mythical characters from like a pretty young age. Vampires and witches and like fairies and pixies. But I, like I've always had like a very special place in my heart for vampires. And I really liked the black and white Dracula and like the different like spin-offs that have been like more modern of Dracula, like the ones that I've watched have like really liked. So when I saw that like Draculaura was like the daughter of Dracula, I was like, oh my god. I like love her. And then like her personality is like so freaking like I know a lot of people don't like her because she's very like sweet and cries a lot and emotional. But like that's like my favorite things about her and like I just relate really hard because I also feel very like sensitive and emotional and when there's like um a character that like has those um traits and isn't really like shamed for them super hard um it, it makes me happy okay so brows are done now i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead with a like big fluffy brush and just do a light pink all over my eyelid so i'm gonna go ahead and use this blush color that um it's just from a blush palette that i got when i was in makeup school um last year oh that's really pink like really light I'm gonna have to go in with more so i'm just going all over my lid and it doesn't have to be perfect by any means because it's very um it's very light and we're just gonna do like a lot on the lid so you're gonna want to just like go ahead and layer it up so i really like rochelle like i love her um her look her oh my god what did i just do her look, her her hair, um, her boyfriend, her pet. I also love Frankie. Primarily because of her makeup and like her two different colored eyes I think are super cool. Um, and like What's It is super cute. And like I like how she has like crushes on a lot of different people. Like I think it's like super fun that she doesn't have like a steady boyfriend. Um, and just like the fact that she's like naive and like sweet and like new to the world and stuff is like so precious and I like really like that about her. I'm going in with these pinks and just going ahead and under my eye. That's getting there, but I'm gonna go in with like this dark pink. And to be honest, this isn't like super different from the makeup that I do in my everyday because I wear a lot of pink eye makeup. I do a lot of cat eye, which I'm gonna do in a sec. Do a lot of like pastel and super dark pinks. I never really wear lipstick, especially now that it's like mask season. I haven't like really been wearing it at all. So then I'm gonna go ahead in with a white eyeliner pencil and line the inside of my waterline to make my eyes look bigger. I usually don't do this step, but I think I could go with wood. Wow, that looks weird. I'm not used to that at all. I'm gonna show them to get a little lighter. And now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner. So I have a Essence Super Precise Eyeliner and it's like one of those that has a little teeny tiny dip, which is what I would like at this moment. So I'm gonna start at the um, center of my eye and draw the line along my lash line and then just like kind of layer it till it gets to the height that I want it to be. And I'm gonna go in with a really thin line of inner eye. I'm gonna extend it all the way in a little bit. <laughs> okay, we're gonna clean that up. And now this. Okay, 
and then we're gonna extend the line on the other side. Cause I feel like Drac has pretty like cat eye kind of eye makeup, but now that I see it on me, I'm like, I wanna go in with a black pencil in my upper waterline. So let's do that. Why we do this? Why we screw up? It's okay. Monster High is all about the freaky claws, which was another thing that I like really loved about it. So yeah, so basically I started watching it. I was like, I'm in love with this. I got kind of hyper fixated on it and started just like, and before that I had like seen Monster High at the thrift store and stuff and I had bought like two dolls. I had bought this like knockoff Avia doll and this Frankie Stein doll and they just like sat on my shelf for a really long time and I was like oh these are like cool but you know like I'm embarrassed to, to like this show or whatever and then I like watched it and I was like oh my god no like I love it and um, started like watching it and just consuming it hardcore and basically since I had all this time I was like I'm gonna do a cosplay because my thesis at university was all about um, costumes and queer theory and um, I got to design a bunch of costumes for like my friends that were all like queer and um, gender non-conforming people. Motorcycles, I hate them. So yeah, so I started watching it, got super into it, started like um, going to the thrift stores like pretty um, consistently when I could. Not like consistently, but I would like go and like go in really quick and like check the doll section and like see are there any Monster High and then like get out um, and like going on Facebook Marketplace and like seeing like if I could find dolls and stuff and I got like a pretty big collection started which was super fun. Um, before I had done that actually I had like been I was like stuck at my parents or not stuck but I was at my parents house with my boyfriend because my parents like live kind of in the middle of nowhere and we were like this is like much better for coronavirus and stuff so we were just like stuck inside and I was like I really want to do a cosplay of this character because I love her and I have all this time on my hands and I think she's so cool and I think she's so cute and I love the concept of her and like let's do it so I started making this cosplay this costume for her um, and I started like a bunch of materials that I had like lying around the house but I did manage eventually to get out and get some materials that I needed for the look, which was really fun. And I was like ready to go in like March, basically. Like I just finished the costume in a week because I was so freaking excited. And I had ordered this wig, this black wig on Wish for her, for the costume. And the freaking wig still hasn't come. So I ended up getting another one and getting a refund. Um, but like, it was like super frustrating because I was like, I have everything ready for this costume and I like made everything and I'm like so stoked and I just like don't have this wig and I was like just like so bummed about it for so long. So then I just freaking caved and got a wig on Amazon and it came in two days and yeah, like Amazon, but um, yeah, hypocritical obviously. Um, but it ended up working out for me for sure. And that's the wig I'm gonna be wearing today in the video. I'm gonna line my eyes with black a little bit in the outer corner. Okay. I'm gonna blend the eye makeup a little more and I'm gonna get that little brush again, the little pink one. Anyway, so I was one of the people that got into Monster High after the whole reboot thing. So it was like very sad that I didn't have the chance to like experience the Monster High like in store and like whatever, whatever. Um, but I was able to experience the Monster High on Netflix until they were evil and took it off. And then I was experiencing Monster High on YouTube because I like found this channel called Raven Rye. If you're watching my video, you probably watched hers. She's amazing. I like, yeah, I'm gonna link her videos or her channel below because super cool, super inspirational. Um, I was watching like her Claudine makeup video and I was like, ooh, I should make a Dracula one because I love Dracula. Anyway. Um, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. I feel like that looks good, but I wanna do my, my, my black liner. Anyway, I wasn't um, 
into Monster High before, but now I like super am, and I'm like really wanting to make like more Monster High videos. Um, cause also after I got into Monster High, I started pe seeing people repaint Monster High dolls and I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. And like, how do they do it? And at first I was like super intimidated and was like, I could never do that. And like whatever. And then I looked into like the actual materials and stuff and like, what do people use? And like, is it actually like impossible? And like, can I get into it too? I'm going to put on some mascara. Um, and after looking into it, I was like, oh no, like this isn't like, I was under the impression that it was all like airbrushes and super expensive materials and like highly scary to use um you know like you have to drill into them and use all these power tools and like whatever I'm like you can those are some options for you if you like want to do dolls you don't have to by any means so i started getting into it and i was like super nervous that i wouldn't be able to but i think i managed and i like have a video up about all of that on my like doll stuff this one is not even um, and I would love if like more people started like posting Monster High stuff because I think it's super cool. I want it to come back and, um, just have more like Monster High friends. I think that'd be super fun. So next I'm going to draw on my little heart. Um, cause Dracula has like a heart birthmark like right under this eye. So I got a lip liner, especially for that purpose. Cause like I said, I don't really wear lipstick. I'm not super sure about the color. I hope it works out. Is it way too huge, you guys? I actually like how big it is. I think that's really cute. Anyway, so I got this wig for Dracula. I got these like purple contact lenses I'm eventually gonna put in. And like, since I have all this stuff, I was like, I wanna now like make videos because I also have a lot of pink and black make or like clothes just because that's like what I wear. Um, and I was like, I wanna do like Dracula makeup looks and hair looks like in different types of outfits. Like this is Dracula like going to a pajama party and this is her like going clubbing and this is her like going on a date and like all these different outfits and like get ready with me videos. If you guys think that would be cool, please let me know because I would love to do it and I think it would be super fun. But I don't know if anyone would watch it or if there's like any interest for it, but I might do it anyway because like honestly, I'm just doing YouTube at this point because like I like this stuff and if other people like it too, I want to like communicate with them and share it. You know, have our interests together and It'll be fun and cool. I know, it's like way too super huge. Maybe not, but it's maybe like not pale enough. I want to make it a little paler. Should I outline it? Maybe that can be cute. That worked out pretty good, I think. I feel like super huge. No, because my hair is going to be super huge, so it kind of has to be bigger than my kind of feeling about it. I keep like losing my train of thought because I keep interrupting myself with random sh so I'm going to put a little bit of lip balm on. And I wasn't super sure the, the lipstick color that I wanted to do. So I have a couple options for myself. I like black lipstick, which I think could be a good idea. This pink one like a couple purple options. So I'm gonna try first with the pink one and if it like looks really bad, then I'm gonna go and change it. This is this color. It's like a little lighter than my actual lip color, which I usually don't do that, but it's like Dracula has pink lipstick, so let's try this. It goes on really well. Yeah, I look washed out AF. That's not, we're not doing this. Where's the tissue? I'll be there. That was horrible. I really didn't like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go with like the Dracula that has black lipstick, like her dolls. I feel like some of her dolls have black lipstick, so it's not like super inaccurate. So, bit of lip balm, get some powder. Do more pink eyeshadow. I feel like it's never pink enough. So, I know Dracula doesn't really wear blush, but she has really pink skin, so I'm gonna put some blush on to kind of emulate that. 
I'm gonna put it on my nose, on my cheeks. My forehead. Highlighter. I know she technically doesn't really wear highlighter probably in canon, but I think highlighter is always a cute look, so that's why we're doing it. On my nose. Okay, so it's time for eyelashes. So I have these here. I'm gonna remove them. So I'm gonna like kind of bend them, get them into that like curved eye shape. Actually, I'm like pretty happy with how long they are. We'll see though. I'm gonna get some lash glue onto the package. I'm gonna pick off the lash and dip it in the lash glue and then let it sit for like 30 seconds. Alright, one done. Okay, so those are on, but I messed up my whole eye makeup, so I'm gonna have to put some more on. That's better. Sorry, this makeup tutorial is so scattered. I'm just kind of playing around. This is my first attempt. So, sorry if it's. Not as professional. Not that really I'm known for that. Such is life. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and paint my nails black. So I'll be back. Okay, so apparently I didn't hit record the first time I did this, so we're gonna try again. I'm gonna put some of these pink guys directly into my wig cap because I want them to be kind of very visible in the front, but I don't want their clip-in part to be super visible. I am not a hair person. I don't know that much about hair. I don't know that much about wigs. So this is probably gonna be one of the more haphazard parts of the process. The wig. We're gonna put some of these up here. I'm putting my hair up because half up, half down because I don't like how I guess. Don't think it looks great. Like that. I'm actually gonna darken my eyebrows now that I see how dark the wig is. It's so hot in here, oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna put a bit more highlight on because I feel like it's faded. And a little bit more blush because I feel like I need more of that. Cool. And I guess now I'm gonna get um, my fangs on and my ears on. So, ah, here's one ear. Here's the other ear. And fangs. I know a lot of people draw the fangs on, which I think is a cool look, but I'm. Um, I have some actual things that still fit me, so I'm just going to go ahead and use those. Uh, so contact lenses, I was going to wash my hands. It hasn't worn contact lenses and it feels like a million years, so I'm a little nervous. But maybe it's like riding a bike. What I'm hoping for. These guys. Doo -doo. Just got them at my costume store local costume shop. Okay. 
And I guess we'll try to put it, I feel like it doesn't want to stick to my eyeball. Because my hair is more wet than my eyeball is at this moment. Let's take a break. Oh gosh, okay. I didn't think I could do it, but I did. I had to reline my eyes. I got the contacts in, that's what I'm talking about. I had to reline my eyes because I cried a lot during it. So I spared you all that. I didn't film it because it also took like a long, long time. But this, this is the, like makeup look basically with the ears and the things and the eyes and everything. Um, so now I'm gonna get dressed and talk about all that. Um, okay. So like we already talked about, I got my fishnet top on. And I'm gonna put on some fishnet um, leggings. Ooh, these ones are ripped already. Okay. So I know Dracula doesn't have canonically ripped. Um, like, whatchamacallit, fishnet leggings. However, I think they are cool and goth and punk rock, and I think she would think so too. So that's why we're gonna do that. Also, since they're the only ones I had, because I used my other ones to make my top. So I always wear shorts under my leggings. So I have these little ones that say bite me that I think are very appropriate for Draculaura. Got them a couple of years ago at Halloween. So still working for me. Okay, so we got our shorts and our fishnets and then we have a petticoat because I wanted to make sure this outfit was very you know cartoonishly hoofed out and then we have a skirt that I sewed like a white skirt that I found at the thrift store a little shorter and then added like a fishnet layer or um, a cobwebby spider kind of layer um, under it because you know how Draculaura has that like spiderweb cobweb thing going on and um, I sewed this pink vest with like a regular vest inside of it but it was from a pillowcase that I had and it was the first thing that I made for this costume I remember getting up at like six in the morning when I was at my mom's house and she was like why are you up and I was like this idea for this cosplay. She's like, okay, I never get up this early, but okay. Um, and I just got started on it and I was so excited. Okay. Oh, I can actually see the background, but I need to turn this light on because I forgot to. Whoa, hi. I'm so sorry the light wasn't on, but here we are. So I got my vest on, my skirt on. I have this jabot that I made. Um, from like a lacy tank top that I found at the thrift store. Yeah, I feel like my eye makeup hardly survived the ordeal that we're putting in my contact lenses. So it does up with a ribbon in the back. Yeah, like I was saying, my eye makeup hardly survived my um, contact lens. So that was very sad. These pigtails a little higher. Okay, and then from other scraps of the same top that I used to make the jabot, I used, or I made little wrist cuffs, because Drac has some little wrist cuffs in her repertoire, in her closet, in her, you know what I mean? I made this bat necklace out of clay, and my boyfriend helped me epoxy it, and it also has a moonstone crystal in it. So cool. Wow, I'm so sweaty. Um, yeah, my hair is still kind of messy. I'm sorry. I will have to figure out how to get this wig to look cute. Because right now I feel like most of everything is cute except my eye makeup feels kind of effed up. And my, um, oh, I just accidentally combed out my real hair. Oh no. Oh. Um, yeah, I feel like the wig is really flat and I feel like my eye makeup's kind of effed up because of the contact lenses, but. Yeah. I'm gonna show you really quick um, the 
Dracula doll that I made an outfit for that has like the same outfit as me. So um, this is the doll that, that has the same outfit as me. Um, I made her like this mini version that has like pretty much all the same materials as the ones I used. Um, so that's really fun. Um, she was like one of the first dolls I made like a full outfit for. So um, it was before I learned that like hand sewing was way better than machine sewing and um, it'd be fun to like remake her outfit and sew it. Um, that could be like a really fun project for me, but we'll see. So this is the final look. This is it. ended up being a much more comfortable once they've been in for a while. Not super happy with this wig. Don't know how to make it look more like voluminous at the top and less like Marticia Adams all over. That kind of blows. And thank you so much for tuning into the video. Thank you for watching all the way through. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, I would love to hear if you guys have suggestions for Monster High videos that you want me to do, like more makeup stuff or just like talking about it. Um, I freaking love the show and I love the dolls and I would love to show you guys my doll collection one day as well. Um, I'm sending you guys all a lot of love and a big virtual hug from Draculora. <laughs> and um, thanks again for watching. I, yeah. Please be gentle because I think that, I don't know, it didn't turn out great, but it was a first attempt and now I like want to refilm this, but I also don't feel like it because it was so hot, it was so hot in my house. Okay, um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your patience and goodbye and have a good one and I love you. Bye!